Hey, so I wanted to make a dedicated video with regards to my tinnitus. Now, my tinnitus came on as a result of what was happening with my jaw and my neck and God knows where else, and that's the point. Um, it's called somatic tinnitus. So somatic tinnitus differs from regular tinnitus or tinnitus, if that's how you call it, um, in so far as it is about the muscles and the nerves of the body. It is not tinnitus that is um, caused by um, damage to the nerves in the inner or middle ear, wherever those nerves are, um, either from loud noises or um, out of toxic medication. I think that's how you pronounce that word. Medication can actually cause tinnitus, like antibiotics, beta blockers, some trip trans for migraines. There's a whole slew, diuretics. Um, I will give a link to that, um, that list because there's a lot and you don't want this. Uh, tinnitus is crazy. My specific tinnitus sounds like the, I am walking into a server room. Like it's this type of noise in your ear. One ear is louder than the other ear. And when everything gets really pissed off, both ears start going and the tone changes. And it's, it's absolutely horrific. Um, people have committed, um, people have self deleted, uh, over this issue. Some people have it so loud that they cannot hear sounds around them. Um, it's horrific. There's no other word for it. It's absolutely horrific. Um, so good news is that mine is somatic. So it's because it's influenced by physical movements of the body. Um, once I solve all of my issues, my tinnitus will go away as easy as it came, as easy as it will go. I just need to figure out what exactly is irritating the nerves around my ear or my neck producing that, that sound. Um, I can tell you that I have to use sound therapy all the time. I do not, there's no silence around me. I'm always having something playing, be it white noise, pink noise, brown noise, podcasts, music, audio books. Like now I go to bed with bedtime stories. Like it's, it's absolutely ridiculous. I just cannot function in silence anymore because you, I hear this noise and I know people say that, that you, you just need to habituate, but think about having a refrigerator strapped to your head. Could you habituate to that noise? Um, the answer is no. So I don't want to gas anybody and say, you know, it's, you could just get used to it. It's like an AC. It's like, no, because people want their silence, especially if you're used to meditating with silence. And now you have a lack of that. It's not easy. Um, and, and it's not a good answer for those who need to solve the problem and don't have any other solution. But I, I, I'm tired of hearing people say, just get used to it. It's no different than, because it is fundamentally different when you're walking around with this horrific noise in your ear. Um, one of the other things that influence it is my stress levels and specifically the way stress feels in my body. If I get angry and my blood pressure is raising and I don't have pulsatile tinnitus, so it, don't think that, but just the emotional stress, it gets louder. So I have reduced stress to a minimum. And when I mean a minimum, I mean I am taking care of my mental health like I have never done in my entire life. There are conversations that I used to entertain, people that I used to entertain, situations that I used to entertain, and the answer is absolutely no. The answer is absolutely not. If I do not have peace of mind in a situation, I am going to avoid it like the plague because it physically is showing up in my body. And arguably, all of this stuff is, is a result of how I've treated my body in the past with regards to stress, with regards to anxiety, with regards to anger, whatever whatever, however I manifested this. Um, and I'm going to use that word, meaning that your body just taps out, right? Eventually it just gets to a point where it's like it's done. And I've gone through some very stressful situations over the past couple of years. And I, I'm a, I'm an A type personality. I'm running hard all the time. And so that lack of balance precipitated to 
some sort of anxiety that resulted in a nightmare that resulted in me clenching and just blowing up my face. Like, talk about a punch to the face. I used to say that you'll learn life's lessons when it punches you in the face. And I basically went to sleep one night and said, okay, you know what? It's time for you to get punched. So it punched me. So all that to say is um, three kinds of tinnitus resulting from hearing damage, resulting from drugs, resulting from um, the movement of the body, specifically somatic tinnitus, which is what I have. And um, I'm just going to keep working on my physio, keep working on my stress levels to get that thing to turn off, turn off. Um, sound therapy is your best bet. If you have it or any other kind of it, sound therapy is your best bet. As soon as I ended the last video, I forgot to say one more thing. So apparently there is a fourth type of a tinnitus, which is psychologically induced. So many have reported, many who suffer from tinnitus have reported that it, it had a sudden onset that wasn't a result of any hearing loss or damage, wasn't a result of any sort of, you know, impingement or restriction in the body, so somatic and not because of any uh, medications um, that they took. So these people experience some level of trauma or stress, extreme level trauma or stress. And then, you know, at some point in the near future, develop tinnitus. So that is very scary. Those people benefit from CBT, cognitive behavioral therapy. So that's also something that all people with uh, tinnitus can uh, utilize because it will teach you to tools to bring down the anxiety. To me, you want to bring down my anxiety, I want silence. <laughs> so CBT has not been useful for me. I'm just more doggedly running after how to physically heal myself to get rid of my instance of tinnitus. But there is that other one. So I will also be linking... Um, a video to um, a video that talks about the different kinds and 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 it features an autotologist and I believe an ENT that's doing a lot of research specifically in tinnitus because a lot of ENTs don't don't know much about it and a lot of doctors just they just tell you to live with it they they don't know much about it or they just tell you that there's nothing that can be done and that's not necessarily true depending on what caused your tinnitus. So I think that is the official end of this update with regards to that. All right. Thanks.